Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these adorable daisy and polka dot mugs using one of the new glitter colors from the newest peachy palette as well as an introduction to the Flynn Sisters Fast Set. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by mixing equal parts of Duckling, Daroga, and Summer Chic from Peachy Olive Glitters. As always, I have a discount code with Peachy in the description box. So I'm going to mix those up and I decided to use a white spray painted base as opposed to a yellow base of the tumbler because I wanted the glitter color to pull more on the lighter end of the yellow rather than like a medium to a dark yellow so I didn't want a chance having too dark of a yellow shade on this cup so I just opted for the white. So once I have that all mixed up I'm gonna go in with 15 milliliters I want to say of Flynn Sisters Fast Set. I mixed up way too much epoxy <laughs> to do this so um, don't be like me. We're just going to apply that to the tumbler and we're going to use the epoxy method to glitter this tumbler. Make sure if you're using any sort of a tumbler with um, a base that will pop off like the uh, Steel Magnolia tumblers, make sure you're getting epoxy in the little crack of the um, base there at the bottom, otherwise the glitter won't adhere to it. Disclaimer, this blue color that you're about to see is a, a sneak peek of the May Peachy palette called Daddy. So if you don't want to see this, you've got about three seconds to turn this off. Next, we're going in with that custom yellow mix that we had put together and I realized at this point that I did not mix up enough and I had to keep stopping and refilling my container. <laughs> so we're just gonna make sure that we're applying that liberally. Once I've got the custom mix applied to the tumbler, I'm gonna go back over it with duckling. That was just a fine cut. And I'm just going to use that to ensure that all of the empty spaces that may not have any glitter on them are filled in so we're not seeing that spray painted white base underneath. Next is caviar. This is my absolute favorite black color to ever exist. And I swear, if y'all go and buy this and sell this out, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure that that is completely covered. If you are doing some type of a handle, if you want to avoid multiple epoxy coats, you can just take a fine cut glitter and apply that to the handle. It, you don't really notice the difference once it's all said and done. Um, but sometimes the handles get a little bit pokey and they require a couple of extra coats of epoxy just to make sure they're completely smooth. So that's just a little pro tip if you want to avoid having extra coats. As soon as I'm done glittering these tumblers, I'm going to put a glove on my hand and just tap down all of these glitters to make sure that they are completely smooth. That's going to set us up for success to avoid having extra coats of epoxy. Extra coats of epoxy will usually tend to cause micro bubbles to build up and then you get a foggier look on your tumbler. I don't want that, especially with the Splint Sisters, it's a fast set, so I wasn't sure how it was going to respond to multiple coats because they tend to have more micro bubbles and I will tell you guys not just because I'm an affiliate for Flynn Sisters but just as a general note this is crystal clear I was shocked at how crystal clear this fast set is like I said they usually come with bubbles 
this did not whatsoever and especially because there was nothing on the black glitter and there was nothing over my holographic vinyl that's the true test if you don't see any micro bubbles over your holographic or metallic vinyls that's how you know it's good epoxy okay i realized that this is going to look horrible on the video when i post it uh but <laughs> my phone wouldn't rotate in cricket so uh, we're just gonna work with what we have. So I'm going to import this Daisy SVG that I found on Creative Fabrica and I'm going to use the offset feature to create a 0.53 offset of this flower and then I'm going to input the circle using the shapes feature um, and I'm just going to kind of hand measure if you will um, how big I want the dots for the center of my florals. And I'm going to duplicate that three times. So I want three separate sizes of flowers and I believe it was 1.25, 1.75 and 2.0. I'll have to put the measurements in the description box. I don't remember exactly. Um, but you would just basically create whatever size floral that you want. And then I took the centers of the flower dots that I created and I just duplicated those and we're just going to use those sizes for our polka dots. And I'm going to make sure that I'm changing the colors of the shapes that I've got imported. Um, first of all, that's just going to let you keep track of what's what. You don't get the dots confused and where they belong. Uh, and second of all, if you're using Cricut, it automatically Kind of puts them into their own um, cutting pad, cutting, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, cutting mat. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Um, so you don't have to manually put them on the pages that they belong. Anyways, so once I've got all that cut out, I'm going to start layering my flowers. You guys don't need to see all this, so I'm just going to kind of speed through here and there. Um, but basically, I'm going to take my offset and tape that down to my mat or my table that I'm working on. I'm then going to use the white inner portion of the floral and I'm going to lay that down. And when I'm peeling the transfer tape off, I'm going to use my squeegee just to ensure that it's not going to lift the... Um, flower or separate the flower from the offset that we had laid it down on. So I'm going to press down on the squeegee while I'm pulling the transfer tape off that will keep both layers together. And then I'm just going to go in and hand place the little center of the florals on each layer. Right before I am ready to apply my final coat of epoxy, I'm going to use my Dremel sanding disc and just go around the rim just to buff away anything that may be poking up. And uh, if there are any kind of pokey bits that are still sticking up after you've used this Dremel, you could just take a sanding block and kind of buff that down. That's just going to leave a thin little stainless line for the final coat of epoxy to adhere to, just to ensure that it's a good final coat. Next, we're moving into laying the vinyl down, and normally I would use transfer tape to apply any of this vinyl work, but because we have several layers of vinyl in one floral piece the vinyl is a little bit thicker than normal and I was able to just pick it right up with my hands and apply it I started from the center when I pressed it down and worked my way out to the left and then out to the right that's just going to help ensure that you don't have any creases in your vinyl if you're working with a tapered or a curved tumbler
After all the vinyl work's applied, I am going to put these on my turner and put a coat of polycrylic over this. You could also use Counterculture's Quick Coat. It's essentially the same thing. There has been a lot of debate in the Tumblr community lately about polycrylic and claims that it yellows cups. I will tell you from personal experience, I've been using polycrylic as a sealer for over a year now, even on my personal cups. I don't have any yellowing on my personal cups. I have never had any reports of any tumblers that I've sold to anybody turning yellow. I haven't seen any evidence to back up that yellowing, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, I will just tell you from my personal experience, this has what's worked for me. It's cost effective, so do what you will, um, but that's just my take on it. I let those spin on my turner and let the polycrylic air dry. In this case, I didn't use a heat gun because we're using metallic and holographic vinyl and it does not like heat. The holographic tends to bubble up with heat. So I just let it naturally air dry. Came back with a third coat of epoxy. I used three coats of the Flynn Sisters Fast Set on this. It dried completely clear, bubbleless. Uh, doesn't smell. I have nothing but good things to say about this epoxy. This fast set was fully cured at about hour five, completely dry to the touch, although I did let this sit on my turner all night just because I didn't need to do anything with these uh, right away. So once that third coat was completely done, these cups were done, I decided not to do a decal on them. I was going to in the beginning and I decided to phone friends and we decided no decal. So uh, that is why they have no decals. Anyways, if you guys love this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Let me know what you thought in the comments, which one was your favorite, and I will see you guys in the next video.